Yo guys, we are in season 14 and are you still having an issue with ALCs or are you having a bad settings or anything that you turn and you feel that isn't right when you do something in the game considering movement or aiming an Apex Legends? Well, this video is for you guys. Alright, this video is for you. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Omar SMS and I do guide videos for Apex Legends and all the type that you want in this channel will be for you guys i tried the best i try my best to improve you guys help you to improve in the game and get you the best tips tricks or benefits or any knowledge you are missing in apex legends whether you are a pro or a noob this channel is made for you so in this video we're gonna talk about what you must not change in the alc Okay, so speaking about this topic, what I mean is that some stuff, some people, they change in their settings and they actually mess up when they do it. It's because they, these changes that are mentioned in the video are gonna be a problem. And some of these changes, I've done them personally before and they did a problem for me. They made me have a lot of problem. Now let's talk about them guys. Okay, if you need like this, if you need like this in for example, then you have to follow these steps. And I'm pretty sure that some of you guys do not uh, do some mistakes. Okay, there's a video I uploaded before which is explaining Ecstasy's new settings. Now I know that Ecstasy stopped using that setting, but I want to mention it. First of all, first of all, when it comes to settings, what you must not change before we come to the ALCs. Okay, before we come to that. There's the movement death zone. Guys, I've seen a lot of people playing on large and they'd be like, oh man, I like it when it's on large. Like large death zone on movement is my favorite, blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, yeah, this is helpful. And whatever they just do, they'd be like, yeah, this is so helpful. Now, I want to talk about something, guys. Being on large, anything that concerns about large death zone is not good, okay? Nothing that nothing with large death zone is good even this one right here so if you guys come here and some people have seen them using a large death zone they'd be like yeah i have stick drift and large death zone remove the stick drift guys this is not true large death zone actually makes the worst impact on control like probably the worst and if you still have stick drift on small death zone then please just change the controller because you have a broken controller yeah, this is it like you can't just tell me that you, it's large death zone is something that will help you this will keep keep making you down and down and down and make a lot of input lag on controller and you will not have a good muscle memory now also this thing that some people like is also vibration i've seen a lot of people turning this on they be like bro i like to feel the vibration when i shoot the enemy okay and they be like oh i feel the game more when i crouch when i shoot and all that Guys, trust me, when I now, when I play Vibration right now, I feel like I'm, I'm losing my mind. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay, this is because Vibration doesn't let you concentrate as you want. Do you know when you just stand and do, I mean sit and do a yoga for example, a yoga lesson. They first tell you you don't, you need a quiet place. And this is what Vibration is for ALCs or controller settings. It's a quiet place. You don't need a Vibration to do the good settings for you. You actually need a quiet place, so you have to turn it off. This will actually remove the concentration from you. Now, I also seen a lot. Now, let's talk about ALC, the main part of the video, okay? So, what you should not do in the ALCs. First of all, everything that is concerned about turning extra yaw speed, extra pitch, ramp up delay also, ramp up delay, turning up time and delay, even ADR, this stuff that I'm turning up, this should not be up, okay? Now, in my latest video on Excessies explaining guide video of his ALC, he, uh, he had like this, maximum extra, and had low ADS. And some people said, wow, it gives me M assist. Well, guys, that's not true. First of all, it will help you in, in some stuff, in making something easier, but it's gonna make something even worse. And a lot of things will get worse. First of all, the muscle memory. First of all, when you have a high ADS extra pitch or real speed for like this, then this sense right here is only gonna be used for the MSs, and that's bad. That's not what we want. 
basically when you have this 200 without having an extra yaw and pitch will make you feel that the area sense is still the same speed when you're aiming on the target which will make you have a good muscle memory and good tracking wherever the enemy is close or long range but when you have this extra yaw speed and pitch speed and you aim on the target you're gonna feel that the aim is very slow if you have a low ADS of course and if you want to switch you're gonna feel very fast but when you come it's gonna feel slow and this will make a lot of problems by the way this is gonna be a big problem because you really don't need that high ADS Yaw speed and extra and I'm gonna make a specific video for this and tell you when to use it or how to use it but for now for this video don't turn this on this is gonna be a big mistake that most people do now there's some other stuff there's people do and it is the outer threshold i've seen a lot a lot of people been using outer threshold in a really really wrong way now for example let's say if you use one percent outer threshold i like it personally i tried it i liked it but then i switched back to two and i was re rec not recommending to have this on one why let me tell you something the biggest mistake with auto threshold that people don't know is that when you have this one it does feel good but it does have a lot of disadvantage which is the tracking first of all you cannot track any more as you want and also it's gonna mess with your muscle memory so that's why auto threshold default is the only thing i recommend high and anything also i don't recommend so just please stay on to trust me and mess with everything you want now anything concerned about response curve that zone this we don't care about them it's all good you can mess with whatever you want but there is something i want to mention that the response curve there's a lot of people been turning this zero and zero because they followed you and bought it or whatever and they'd be like wow this is good guys I know that some people don't know this so I'm gonna mention it Jim Borton and most pro players have a modded controller player a controller or a scuff which will make you feel that low ADS right here or low I mean low response can low death zone maybe they have a death zone in their controller or maybe they're just used to it don't copy it don't put zero and zero I don't recommend it because it always it has a lot of stick drift, it has a lot of problems, it has a lot of mis yeah, like a lot of things I really cannot mention. It does feel good, I'm not gonna lie, but it is gonna be to put you in a bigger situation that you really cannot do. So please just balance them as you want. Now the other stuff I want to talk about is the pitch speed, EDS pitch speed. Now I've seen a lot of people putting this a very high because they like to balance between ADS, Yao and pitch including me i like to balance them if i have 140 ads yao i put ads pitch on 140 but here's the trick you cannot always balance them if you use high sense now what does this mean if you have a high ads yao speed like 200 you can't just put this on 200 and just play with it this is gonna cause a lot of problems on long range fights like up and down so you're basically gonna have a big problem with tracking the enemy it's not just gonna be fast it's gonna be a problem for you guys so i don't recommend a high ads pitch speed i recommend like maximum 150 or 140 or 160 even but you don't really need above that okay anything above i feel is just wasting your time or making the the aim harder to land and you really don't need to challenge yourself in a way that you put it hard with no sense nonsense i mean yeah so these are the things that you should not do in alcs guys i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys have a great time in season 14 and i hope you find your own settings and love it and not change it anymore so see you guys in the next one peace out